Hey everyone, I'm so excited to share another Ice Yarns haul with you. So let me open this up and I'll show you what I got. Okay, I'm going to start with the new to me yarns that I ordered this time. And then I'll show you some that I already got and decided to get more after trying them out. So I'll start with this one. This one is, it's called Sail Winter Light Salmon. And the thing with ice yarns, there are a few things with ice yarns that you should be aware of. First of all, my biggest tip, when you shop there and you see the price per package, uh, so usually they will give you the price uh, per ball and then also per package because you can't buy a single uh, ball of yarn. You have to buy, it's usually 400 gram packages. So if the ball is 200 gram, like in Saver, it'll be two uh, skeins. And then if it's 50 grams, it'll be eight. And if it's 100 grams, it'll be four. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind, the price. But when you see the price, double it or add about 70% to it because that'll be your end uh, price, like at the end, including shipping and customs. So sometimes it's a bit like scary <laughs> when, you know, you have like $50 worth of yarn and then you go to checkout and it's like $90. So be prepared. Uh, I think if you do the math, at least for me, it's still, is cheaper than buying in other places and uh, the delivery is super fast so yeah now the thing is they have sales there and they have like sales sections and what happens is so it's quite confusing they will change the name of the yarn to say sale winter or sale summer or sale spring or something like that so um yeah, so that's a bit problematic because I don't know how to find these yarns, but usually you can get some some clues by the composition of it. So I ordered this one, and as I said, it's Sale Winter, and it's 20% polyester and 80% acryl, acryl, acry yeah, acrylic, it says acrylic light. And you can see this is like a fuzzy yarn. So I don't buy uh, yarns that come from animal. And I am, but I do like the look of say mohair. Not sure about the process of actually crocheting <laughs> with it. So I'm always trying to find some synthetic or plant-based alternatives. And this looked really interesting and I just love the color. So I'm not sure how I will like actually making something with it, but yeah, it was really uh, affordable. It was just a few dollars, it was on sale and I thought I would give it a try. I have uh, another haul video and then I made a video trying out the yarn, so making swatches out of them. And I might do the same. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested to see how this yarn works. <laughs> and I'll, I'll think if I want to put myself through it. Okay, this one I had to get because I just adore the colors. So this is called Ombre uh, Ecru Neon Pink. And I wouldn't say this is a pink. I would say this is a neon coral. And it's really cute. I don't know if I should have bought two of these because as you can see you get one kind of uh, cream color these are made uh, these are 90% acrylic 10% polyester this is a four weight yarn they say it looks nice it's it feels okay it doesn't feel plasticky or anything but it's not like super soft but I just adore the colors. These are so my colors. And I thought it would be fun to just make a simple kind of sweater with this, like starting from this on the top and then move to this one and then this one. But I'm guessing that this is 220 meters. So I don't know if uh, 660 meters is enough for a sweater. Uh, I'll, I'll probably have to like search for a design and then see how much, uh, how much wool how much yarn they use and then I might have to order another one or maybe I can make a more like a lighter short sleeved 
I, garment. But I just adore this color combination and I think it would look gorgeous on a sweater. So I picked that up. Sorry about the rustling, but it's an ice yarn haul, so it just has to be. Okay, the other sale item that I got, this is all call, also called sale and the, <laughs> the color is plain ecru, ecru? Hope I'm pronouncing it right. But again, it just looks like a really lovely yarn for sweaters or cardigans. It actually really reminds me of the macaron uh, yarn that I got last time and I love and I may have gotten more colors. Yeah, I think it's not exactly the same, but it kind of um, reminds me of that. So I'll just tell you sometimes the, because they stick it on a previous sticker, sometimes it's all messed up. So this one is 50 grams, 90 meters. It is 80% 80% acrylic, 13% nylon, and 7% elastan. It looks and it just, it, it feels really nice. It is pretty soft. Uh, I think the color is very easy to use. And I think like something for like a shrug, uh, I think this would be a really great choice. Again, it was on sale and quite affordable. So I thought I would grab it and try. More new to me stuff. This is Softly Baby. So this is one of the yarns that seem to be quite popular in the YouTube hemisphere. And let's see. So I got the color, I wanted to try it, so I got a, a kind of simple color. This is light beige. Uh, I love the color, it's beautiful. It's like this warm beige color really really lovely would be great for a scarf uh, as you can see <laughs> it's the kind of color that I like and this is 50% acrylic and 50% polyamide and it is a four three weight yarn sorry they recommend a four millimeter knitting needle it's 100 grams 210 meters and uh, yeah it looks really nice and I think it'll be nice to work with. Um, I don't know, I'll have to start with it and see what I want to do with it. If if I wanna make like a blanket or a clothing item. Uh, I think this could work in a sweater for me. So I'm excited to try it out. Okay, these are very exciting. So I had to try some of the eyelash yarn and I got one pack of eyelash glitz and I do have a project in mind for these so I also recommend just have a project in mind when you shop there so you don't just like overbuy or you know not buy enough of something that you need so let's start with this one this one is eyelash light salmon and I love this color this color is beautiful it's giving me all the feels uh, I think on camera it looks more orange than it is. It's a very beautiful uh, salmon color. And yeah, as you can see, this is kind of like the eyelash yarn. And I have a plan for it, which hopefully I can put into motion because I've never tried it. And I'll just give you kind of a close-up on how this looks. There's like the main strand and then there are all these eyelashes coming out out of it but I want to use it on a blanket I think I think I'll start with a blanket uh, because yeah I have a design in mind if you don't know I am I paint with watercolors and that's kind of my job <laughs> so I paint flowers and I'm really hoping to kind of come up with designs for uh, blankets or even a sweater that are reminiscent of my watercolor painting. So kind of uh, florals. We'll see how that works. And I think this will be a really fun addition. Oh, I didn't tell you anything about this yarn besides the color, <laughs> that it's great. So this is called Eyelash. It's 100% polyester. It feels really nice. Uh, it's 50 grams, 75 meters. They, it's a size, it's a, yeah, five, so bulky. And they recommend a six to seven millimeter knitting needle. And 
and yeah, I have to try it out and kind of figure out how to use it to get the effect that I'm looking for. And then this color was also calling my name. So this is Eyelash Glitz and it just has, supposed to have, I guess, like some sort of sparkle in it. Let me tell you about it. This is also bulky, so five weight yarn. They recommend here six millimeter knitting needles. 100 grams has 140 meters. This is 80% polyester and 20% lurex. So that's the metallic component. And yeah, I don't know. I mean, this already has like a sheen to it that I'm not convinced. This doesn't feel as soft as this, I guess, because of the metallic. Uh, I have to see how it works out and also the colors. For me, a color, if I fall in love with a color, it would be a good reason to pick another yarn, even if it doesn't feel as nice. And so I have to look, but if they have this color in this, in the regular uh, eyelash, I don't think I need that metallic boost, or at least not in this case. Maybe they have more like a gold option where the metallic is more obvious, but here I wouldn't say it's so obvious. So yeah, I have a plan for these. We'll see how it works. Okay, and last but not least from the new to me yarns, I just had this colorway it was giving me all the feels and I had to pick one up. This is called Magic Light and I'll put, the sticker only says green, yeah. <laughs> so I guess green, yellow. And yeah, oh, this feels very nice. Okay, I think I love it. This feels very nice. Let's see, this is Magic Light. This is 100% acrylic. 100 grams, we have 360 meters. This is a three weight yarn and they recommend a four, two, four and a half millimeter knitting needles. Uh, I think the color is a beautiful. I saw somewhere, probably on Instagram, like a really chunky scarf made with this. I think it was actually this colorway and it was just delicious. Now, I still don't have a project in mind, but I just wanted to see um, this, the magic light, to see if I like it and then decide what to make with it. Okay, so now, stocking up on yarns that I already ordered and really, really loved. This is the macaron. Ah, the bag was broken, a few ran away. Okay, so this is macaron yarn and I just love it. To me, I imagine that it's kind of close to how wool yarn feels like. I don't know, I've actually never used uh, wool. So this is light pink and I showed it in the uh, previous haul. And then I picked up the Ecru and you can see the color. It's just a really nice kind of a cream, like off-white color. Sadly, they don't have enough colors from this yarn. I wish they had more but I got what they had and I liked. There are more colors, but I just didn't like them. And this one is, what are you? This one is the Fuchsia. And what I liked, I kind of, I like these two colors together. So that's the Calm version. And then I also really like the idea of making something with these two together. So this one is gold, I want to say. Yes, it's called gold. It's just a kind of an earthy orange. Um, yeah, I'm usually not into orange, but I feel this is more of like on the mustardy side. And sometimes it also really depends on how you pair colors. And suddenly you can really love a combination, even if on its own a color is not giving you all the feels. But also with the, with the ecru, I think this is beautiful. So... I kind of like the idea of using these together on a sweater. Uh, this to me is like a, a sweater yarn. That's how I see it. And I want to make a cardigan, um, probably from the pink because I have two packages. So I have to figure out the yardage, but yeah, maybe like a stripy sweater for these two together. Really love the colors. They're kind of rich. This one is not like crazy, crazy 
bright like it's not neon or fluorescent which i also love <laughs> but it's pretty and i think it'll be pretty for a sweater so these are all the macaron yarns that i got oh let me tell you about it again this is 50% acrylic, 47% polyamide, and 3% elastan. This, they call it, for some reason, a three-weight yarn. Um, I would totally say this is a four-weight yarn. And they recommend a four millimeter knitting needle. I crocheted this with, I don't remember, but I think it was a five or a six. And yeah, this, this, is, this is not three-weight, in my book anyway. So really, really lovely yarn, I think, for winter garments. And then last but not least, I picked up a few of the Saver. Saver was the yarn that I m heard the most about before, before I placed an order with uh, Ice Yarn, so I was really excited to try it. So these are the colors that I picked this time and I do have a plan for them in mind, although I already have another plan for the cream color, so I might have to get more cream. This, so this is Saver, it's 100% Draylon acrylic, 200 grams gives you 330 meters. It's a 4 weight yarn, they recommend a 5 millimeter knitting uh, needle and this one is light cream sorry light cream and it's just a really lovely color this yarn i as i said i heard a lot about it and i thought it would be like a dream to touch it and it does feel nice but i really started appreciating it appreciating it when i started working with it it's just so so easy to work with i think if you're a beginner this is like a no-brainer um yeah it's just lovely it doesn't split um, you can see the stitches very easy to work with I can't like say enough good things about it once I started working with it so I want to make a blanket using these colors these and then I'll probably add because they don't have like a, a really hot pink I might add something else from my stash but I also wanted you to see these two colors together so this one is pink and then this one is called lipstick pink and I just think it's so helpful to see colors so as you can see this is really to me like a baby pink which I don't mind I like it and then this one has uh, just a little bit uh, obviously it's a bit deeper in color but also warmer and yeah i i kind of it's growing on me it's it's growing on me <laughs> so this one as i said is pink lipstick pink and then this one is light orange which i would say you could also call it a light salmon to me because it's not like super orangey i don't really like orange but this one is like a soft color so happy about that and yeah that is it from my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like this video, leave me a comment, and everything will be linked below. Yeah, I'll see you soon in another video. Bye!